being religious will always involve being spiritual. And some people, there is no difference between spirituality and religion. It's seamless, you know, because the religion is their lived experience all day, every day, seven days a week. It's not just something that happens on a Sunday. But you will also have people who are deeply spiritual who wouldn't be at all religious. So being, relig being religious will always involve being spiritual, but being spiritual might not always involve being religious. So what is spirituality? Well, I don't know if I've ever found a definition that I'm absolutely 100% happy with because it is something that's uniquely personal to you. Um, but it is bound up with things like a sense of meaning, value, and purpose. For a lot of people, the most important thing is family. And if you think about what holds a family together, it's love. So our fundamental spiritual right, our need, in a sense, is to love and be loved. If I can love and have a sense of being loved, then the world is a very good place. And that, to me, is what it's all about. Tied into that, then, automatically comes meaning, value and purpose. Did I achieve my life goals? Did I accomplish all the things that I planned and dreamt for myself as a child or a teenager? You know, or did I put it on a, all on hold because I was trying to live in terms of other people's expectations? And I think that brings up for people at end of life, you see, that spiritual thing is, can be regret. You know, regret of having worked too hard or spent too much time at work and not enough time with family and not enough time with friends and not enough time doing the things that they actually wanted to do but burnt themselves out running around looking after everybody else. And I think, you know, when we talk about spirituality, we think, oh gosh, that's something huge. I wouldn't know anything about that. I wouldn't be able to handle that. But we're talking about the simplest, purest things in life, the things that make me tick. You know, the things that are most important to me now. And if I want to talk about that or I'm anxious about that, all I need you to be as my carer or companion in that space is just to be a sounding board, a non-judgmental sounding board, and someone who let me give out, talk about how unfair this is, uh, express how angry I am about my life or things that I didn't do or what's happening to me now or the fact that I don't have time to do the things that I like to do. Um, and that you would be somebody brave enough to be able to sit there without a need to snatch me away from that and rescue me, but to allow me in a way just to go into that space so that I can push away from that difficult stuff myself. I think it's about really not having the answer really are having the need to have the answer to those big questions.